Hey everyone, if you watched the June 1st video on this 40-day pattern that has been playing out for the past two years, then you know that it started at the beginning of a major Islamic State attack, and many, if not most, of these events involve the Islamic State. On May 1st, we looked at the recent event and took note that the next watch date on their calendar was June 4th through the 6th, 2016. June 4th through the 6th also just happens to be the start of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, which is the ninth month on their calendar. They start their month on the first crescent of the new moon, which was June 5th, although the new moon itself is what's significant, which started the day before that. And on the exact date of the new moon of Ramadan, on June 4th, Muhammad Ali died. So Muhammad died on the exact new moon starting the Muslim holy month. Is that just a coincidence? Maybe. But remember, also in 2016, just a few months ago, Prince died on Passover. So Prince died on Passover, the start of the Jewish Feast of Weeks. Then a few months later, Muhammad died on the start of Ramadan, the Muslim holy month. Ramadan is the ninth month on the Muslim calendar, so the 11th day of Ramadan, or the Muslim date of 9-11, will occur on the window of June 14th through the 16th. Now here's where it gets deep. Notice June 14th is a U.S. holiday. It's Flag Day. You might remember a few years ago, the U.S. flag was dropped on cue at the London Olympics. During Serena Williams' ceremony on August 4, 2012, the U.S. flag dropped to the floor at the exact moment the U.S. national anthem reached the lyric, and our flag was still there. Although the media played it off as an accident, it definitely was not an accident, and I don't know how anyone in their right mind can think so. Also notice that occurred on August 4th, which was Obama's 51st birthday in 2012. Also notice that Flag Day is Donald Trump's birthday. Trump was born on June 14th, 1946, and he will be exactly 70 years old on Flag Day 2016. The United Nations was also born in the year 1946, and the Bible identifies the UN as the beast. So the beast is literally in its 70th year right now from October 2015 to October 2016. Donald Trump, who is the Republican candidate for president this year, will be in his 70th year starting on June 14th, which is Flag Day, and specifically this year in 2016, it is also the Muslim 9-11. But there's more. The U.S. flag was dropped in London just two days after the Abomination of Desolation was set up in New York City. The Abomination of Desolation, also translated as Idol of Terror, was set up exactly according to Scripture 1290 days after the position was taken oath. That's the alternate translation of Daniel 12, 11, and 12. You can check that yourself or watch the video I did on it a few years ago. It's in the Bible Countdown playlist. That does appear to have been the true setting up of the abomination of desolation for too many reasons to list here, but mainly because of the fulfillments of both the 1290 and 1335 days in Daniel 12, but also because of the fulfillment of the heavenly sign described in Revelation 12 that occurred in the same year just one month afterward, which is, again, exactly according to the prophecy in the scripture. The sign in heaven is extremely rare and only occurs every 200 years on average, but this particular time, it last occurred about 500 years ago and will not happen again for another 500 years. The abomination and the sign also occurred within Daniel's week, the seven-year period that appears to be ending this year in October 2016. So, the man that the world called Messiah took office as President of the United States in 2009. 
That same year, he won the Peace Prize for confirming the Beast's worldwide nuclear treaty. That appears to have started Daniel's seven-year period in October 2009. Then the Idol of Terror, otherwise known as the Abomination of Desolation, was set up in exact accordance with the prophecy in Daniel 12 on August 2, 2012. August 2nd is the anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. So the abomination of desolation described in the Bible was set up in the United States on the anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Two days after the setting up of that idol of terror, the U.S. flag fell during the U.S. National Anthem in London, dropping precisely on the lyric, and our flag was still there. That incident occurred on August 4th, 2012, which was Barack Obama's birthday. June 14th is U.S. Flag Day. On June 14, 2014, the Islamic State started a war by committing the Camp Spiker Massacre. That massacre was on an exact schedule that we foresaw on this channel. It occurred at the exact date representing the end of a timeline on the true biblical calendar from the story of Noah. That same year, the movie Noah was released, which depicts an asteroid hitting the sea. The asteroid hitting the sea is the apocalyptic event predicted in the Bible prophecy, which it says will occur in the midst of the week, which we appear to be in now. That's Daniel's seven-year period. It also tells us an army from the east will invade after that asteroid hits. June 14, 2014 was the date that the 40-day events pattern began, and it's still continuing. June 14th is U.S. Flag Day, and it is also Donald Trump's birthday. Donald Trump is running for president in 2016, and on June 14th, 2016, Trump will be 70 years old. So 2016 is the 70th year of both Donald Trump and and the United Nations, which the Bible identifies as the beast that is the eighth and final king. In 2016, June 14th lands on the 11th day of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, which is their ninth month. So June 14th, 2016 is the Muslim 9-11. Also notice that true Shavuot on the biblical calendar in 2016 falls on the window from June 9th through the 11th. Exactly. For two years, we've been identifying significant patterns that have been playing out every 40 days since the Islamic State started the war on June 14th, 2014. This year, the 40 days ended on the exact start of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, and a U.S. idol named Muhammad died on that exact date. The following week marks the true biblical date of the wheat harvest on June 9th through the 11th, and the week after that, the Muslim date 9-11 lands exactly on Flag Day, which is Donald Trump's 70th birthday. So what does all of this mean? I can't be sure, but I do not believe this is coincidence. For more information, please see the playlist Bible's Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue linked here and on my main channel page. Thank you so much to those who are making this work possible. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you next week.